Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow work travelers. Oblix here, back with you today from Minecraft Vanilla. How y'all doing today? So we need to come up with a name for this server, guys, because hey, I don't think any of us have any good ideas. So you tell me in the comments down in the down yonder, what should we name this place? I got no clue. So anyway, guys, we're coming from our epic beach house of amazingness. And walking away, and it just looks totally awesome. And you'll see, I can walk away a lot further than I could walk away before and remain on the path. Because I done did some work, guys. Let's uh, get suited up, because there are bad things among us. Uh, so I kind of brought us out to about here. Uh, and you'll see these are lined up, even though they look like they're not. They are, in fact, lined up. But we've got the path coming from right here all the way back to our beach bungalow and I think that's a neat approach I really like it and what in the world oh it's a squid with a little school of funky fish okay fair enough Ooh, and salmon I haven't got me a salmon head yet come here salmon give me your head no I haven't gotten these little guys heads yet I haven't got a squid head yet Ain't got y'all's head yet. Come here. Give me your head. I've killed a ton of these things, but no heads. Nobody wants to drop their heads. Come here. Give me your head. Head. Nope. Head. 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 Wasn't there another one? No. Hmm. Well. Lame. Alright. So, anyway, guys. Today, we need to work on our house a little more in that we've got the form now. Now we need the function. So you can see our food stash is, is pretty well set. We're good. We've got all this cooked food. We've got all this raw food ready to be cooked. Uh, we're, we're good. We're good. Uh, mob spawns we get we're doing okay not great but we could definitely be doing better I've got a few heads got a pig uh, two drowned a wandering trader don't know what happened to him uh, puffer head and cod so we still need quite a lot of heads um, but today guys I have been working in the down below so let's head on over here and take a closer look now remember we had this little stairway down into our mines all the way down and we built this little I hear drowned I need nautilus shells come here where are you at? come here and give me a bit are you down here? usually they're right in here yep what'd I tell you? got a nautilus shell for me? nope just a little bit of XP and some rotten flesh I'll take them both Okay, so, back to what we were talking about. We've got this little pathway down into the basement, and, of course, we got our little secret trap door from our bedroom, which goes down. Now, I've hollowed out down here a little bit, and I had me a little safe room right here. You know, this is just our stairwell, uh, where I could come AFK if I needed to before we had the house. Now we've got the house, so I went ahead and set up a little quick kelp smelter. So we've got kelp up here being funneled in with a hopper to the smoker and we're feeding it with the dried kelp blocks and then it's just pulling out and dumping over here all the cooked dried kelp and of course we're just feeding the blocks in from this hopper in this chest so what I'll do is I'll just take all this out go into our little crafting grid right here we got a neat little crafting station set up and then I can always just pop some more in there until this guy gets full then we'll back up this guy and then we'll have a bunch of extra and I can come in here and grab a bunch of this and go ahead and keep this guy full so he continues to cook as much as possible and that's just gonna bug me that that's not over there Let's get, 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 
There. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to let that sit there and do its business. Now, you will notice this funky grass line going down. So, this was dirt, and I had cleaned out this area to, to put our ladder. That acacia block is coming out of the house, and it's our ladder down. And then it started growing grass, and I was like, you know what? I want to get these acnimals that we've captured a long time ago, well, back in the last episode. Uh, so we got two cows, two sheep, two or a pig, and a chicken. And I need to get another pig, and we'll get a chicken from the eggs. But uh, I want to get these guys down below because I don't want to listen to them because they are loud and obnoxious. So down here, I started out right here, and I was like, okay, we're gonna put them right here. But this is, yeah, you because know, this is on the same level as our little machine. But it's still too close, and I'm still gonna have to hear them. So I kept on trucking downwards. So you can get down through that ladder, or you can come down these stairs. The stairs will probably go away down the road, but we got our ladder. And I just hollowed out a big room. You can see we hit water over there. And brought the grass, just stair-stepped it down all the way and let it grow all the way down here. This took hours to get all this to grow and to get all this dug out because I was using stupid stone picks. And yeah, that sucks. Anyway. Uh, so we got a little spot down here we can put our cows. And I want to start with cows and I want to set up a little uh, a breeder killerator 9000. Yeah. So we need to get them down there. Hmm. In such a way that they're not going to get out. But I may want to build the machine first. First, I did grab some weeds off of a wandering trader that lost his head. So we can definitely use those. Uh, let's see. Let's get that flesh out of my inventory. Don't need that. And I have some fences somewhere. There's a fence post. Hey. There we go. So what we'll do is just take this little fence post and I think we'll just pop it right here. And then we'll go get some cows and bring them down and attach them to the fence post and start working on our cow breeder slash killer 9000. So let me get some resources together, get a plan together, and then I'm going to bring you guys back and we're going to start this process. Alright, so I think I got most everything we're going to need in my inventory right here. And got a little space picked out. It's going to be a 5x5. Five five, and this is based off a design by a guy named It's Me Fix. Uh, I've never actually used this one before. But it's 4114 and it's a real simple one. We're going to build... Remember this is not our permanent base. This is a temporary place to just be. So um, until we get our permanent base, we're going to use this. Now I've got to be very careful because I do want to build it out of glass, but I don't have silk touch. So wherever I place the glass, um, it, it better be the right spot. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to be mining some more sand. Uh, I do have some more cooking up just in case. I do want to grab some more dirt though, because I think I'm going to place everything in dirt. Uh, at least all the glass bits are going to be dirt, and then I'll go back and glass them after the fact. So, and I did mismeasure this room. I'm going to be one short, but that's okay. We'll we're going to make that work. Um, so, the cows are going to be up here on the roof. And we know that's the dimensions. I tell you what, let's bring our torch back over here because it's a little bit dark. We'll just hold it in our offhand. Uh, so, and I hear a skeleton. That's our center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, where is that skeleton? That's going to drive me up the flipping wall. So... Cows are going to be right here. And I think I want to. Okay. 
get our fence post and put it there and there and there nice gonna go around like so fantastic and this is where our cows are gonna be now below that we should be able to get rid of this now so cows are gonna be on this level so we need to put glass which we're gonna use dirt right here So, can I get that out there? Yeah, we're basically going to glass the entire way down now. And with thin, we need another layer. everywhere there's dirt is going to be glass. Now we need to start placing uh, our signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got our signs. I think I want them here. And we're just going to have to place them again once we get the glass. But This is kind of the idea what it's going to look like, right? And this one is actually got to go up a little bit higher uh, because we's going to put a dispensator right here. I need that sucker facing up. Like a so. place a button on the side right there like so yeah 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 and we're gonna want a trap door on top oh, where can I get this on there I think I can right there yeah fantastic and that's where our cows are gonna sit on top of this and inside we're going to put us a bucket full of water. And then we want we're going to glass all this. Uh, all these sides are going to be glassed, but then we're going to have one gap. And on that gap, we're going to put more signs. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Actually, we just need one sign and we need it right here and I need another bucket of water right there okay so I'm gonna have to go get a second bucket of water then they're gonna fall right here and I'm almost tempted to go ahead and let them fall two layers down just because I don't want any of the babies banging their head up against that so I may actually take this one more block down is actually called for and then let's just get rid of this so we can see what we're doing then right here in the corner we're gonna go down one two and three and then at the three we need to place our hooper 
boop. And then right here, we need to place our dispenser. Bingo. And that's going to hold our lava bucket. And why am I not using my shovel? I mean, I have a shovel. Why not use the shovel? I don't know. There's our deal. Now we can place this right here. I, I would rather that be placed on its side. Thank you very much. Get on your side. There you go. So that'll have all of our drops. And I'll probably glass that so I can see the babies. And then we're going to place another button right there. So we hit that, get the lava to come out. This is, like I said, they're going to be very manual. And what am I missing? Trapdoor. Right there. Now we need a bunch of glass. And we need water buckets and lava. So let me actually go get two buckets of water. Shouldn't be hard to find. We do live on the ocean. The crap? What are you... What are you... Huh? You're gonna die. You could have given me your head. That would have been awesome. But what the crap are you doing up here, you little weirdo? Alright, let's grab our water. And come on down here. And let's switch back to Shuvla. the uh, glass placed here. Okay, now let's go ahead and get these signs up. Uh, no, no. You're not a sign. There we go. They're like right here on the other side of this wall. actually go now except I don't have any torches on me so it won't do any oh I have one torch how big do you think that hole is <laughs> focus oblix focus okay fine I'll focus okay so let's get our one bucket of water in there and then Glad I'm cooking up more glass. Let me go grab it. Alright, got some more glass. There we go. And need another bucket of water after I place this sign. There. Bucket of water there. Nice. And then we can just glass this up. Perfecto. Alright, now I've got some... Tell you what, let's go grab this lava. I've got some down here. Grab a bucket of that. And we will come and put it in there. So we can hit this. 
we get the lava hit that it goes away and hit that button I'll show you how we do that in a minute right now I need to go in me some obnoxious mobs all right so okay so we want to dig it should be right there I'm gonna dig a little hole around here like so and then right there should be not the middle of where this is actually where we need to be I didn't kill my things the way I thought I did there we go that's where we need to get our cows so I think I actually want to take this wall back a little bit further so I need to get cows in there. And I just want to make it as easy as possible to get them in there. So and if we happen to fall in, as long as we stay on the fence, we're fine. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, my parrots warned me of that creeper right there. Where did you come from, little sucker? Maybe over here? I do not want you blowing up my house. Oh, phantoms. And I forgot they come underwater. This is bad. Creepers and phantoms babies and just drowning oh we are gonna die we are gonna die we are gonna die run for the house can you make it there's a phantom in my house <laughs> bro we have a phantom in our house. That's just awesome. I kind of don't want to kill him. But he can't live in my house because he'll try to kill me. Unless... We could boat him. Can we boat him? Dang it. Where are my, my boats happen to be in that room next door? I grab a couple just in case, huh? Okay, can we boat him? Where's he at? Come here, come here. Come here. Come here, Phantom. Get in a boat. Get in a boat. Get in a boat. Come on, get in the boat. I really want to catch him in a boat. He can actually get us still right through there if he knew we were in here. And that creeper's still out there. My parrots are making creeper noises. I bet my armor's taking a pound in too. Okay. Hey. You. Get in a boat. You. Hello. Hello. Could we... trying to think of how we could do this. I want to keep him from going up high. Come here, buddy. Hey, at least you're safe from the daylight, right? Hey. 
Hello. Hello. Could you come back in the kitchen, please? There you go. Oh, you just zipped right through there. Come on. Come on. No, no. Over here. Hello. Oh, don't go outside. Outside's bad. You don't want to go outside. Come here. Come here. Come on. No, not into the post. Come here. I'm gonna take a hit for the team on this one to get him over here. There we go. Now come over here. Don't go in my bedroom. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here, stupid. Come here. Come here. Come on, you were doing this so nice a minute ago. Ah, you're in the boat. Nice. Phantom in a boat. Now, where do you think that creeper is? I bet he's right outside this door. Run for it! Where's the stupid creeper? Hi. You want to get in a boat? Would you like to get in a boat? Oh crap, my boat disappeared. Come here, boat. Come here, come here. Nice. Now, how do we get him without him blowing up? That is going to be scary to anybody that runs comes to my house. Random creeper in a boat. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. And now we have a terribly noisy house. Hey, buddy. I'm going to have to buy a name tag off of somebody to make him shut up. we could like put him up in the roof the rafters up there and glass it off and just have him flying around up there that might be cool I don't know we'll do something uh, now what was I gonna do cows we need cows there's still all this gurgling down here good gravy hey you tried to kill me a minute ago it was not nice Oh, you want some too? Come here. Oh, gold. Ah, uh, take it. You and all your friends can just die. Good gravy, that's a lot of you. Okay. We're still trying to get cows. Eats. Can he do it? Hello. Can I have my boot back? Come on, cow. Pay no attention to the phantom screaming. It's fine. Trust me. Come on. Come on. No, we're not going back up. We're coming down. There we go. 
I would very much like for you to get in this hole. Perfect. And I can't get the lead off. Fan flippantastic. How do I get the stupid lead off? I just have to break it, I guess. There we go. That should have broke it. Uh. Did that pull him out? Uh, how's that even a thing? You should not have been able to get here. <sighs> Great. Yes, you are a pain in my butt. Come here. Uh. Oh, yeah, you can get there. Dang it. Uh. Come here. Come on, stupid. Really? Uh. You can get out. I'm taller than you, and I got out. It's a thing. Trust me. Oh, now you want to come out. You suck, cow. Come on. Come on. Get in the hole. No, no, no. Fine. You're not leaving this space. Now, if I have to punch you, I will. It's a thing I will do. Get in the hole. I don't want to have to punch you. Now. Sheesh. Mobs are such a pain in the butt. I need that chicken egg. Alright, cow. It's you and me, buddy. Could I have the boat? Waste and resources. Come on, out of the water. Come on. Trust me, you're gonna have a great time. You're just gonna sit here and make babies. It'll be wonderful. Come on. Please, thank you. And you get in the hole. No, no. Where are you going? Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get. Don't you put me in the hole. You get in the hole. Look, you have a friend. He's in the hole. He likes being in the hole. The hole's a good place. Oh my god, you're such a Pain in my butt. Get in the hole. Stupid. Okay, now. If he had died, I've been very, very sad. Okay, now I think we will... Yeah, yeah. 
take this out. So we can sit here and feed them. I can heat up the button. You're not supposed to be way over there like that. Did I put this too low? Because it washed my button off. I think I put it too low. Dang it, Bobby! Why am I having so many difficulties building these things? It totally washed my button off. Why am I just being completely stupid about... I have not built a redstone vanilla machine in so long that I'm just flipping brain dead. Oh, yay, I get to do this all over again. Good times. All right, you know what? Stay there. All right, what did I do wrong? These should have been, this guy should have been up one higher. We somehow, yeah, I should have been up one higher. Crappers, all right, let's get this in here. No, that's not where you can be because that's where the button has to go. Come here, come here. All right. You have to go up one higher. Because the button's gonna go there. Fantastic. Now. Okay. We should test before I deal with these stupid cows again. Come up here. Sweet. Okay, water is not falling out. Or wrecking our button. Fantastic. So now I can deal with stupid cows. Alright, come here, stupid. Come here. Let's get your stupid friend. Yeah, you come on too. Can we not fight over the same block? Good grief. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Uh, I should block this up so they don't fall in that hole. In, in, in. Fantastic. No. Awesome. Alright, so I got it finally set up. That took way longer than I wanted it to. But now we can pop up here. Got our cows there on the top of that trap door. And they're on top of a dispenser with a water bucket. And what we do is we grab some wheat. We heat it a button. They pop up here to our level. We can feed them. They make it a baby. And the baby pops out right there. Now, once we hit this button again, whoop, baby go down. And fall down into the cookerator. Now all we do is wait for baby to grow up. And we have new cows. 
or we have cow meat. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and I want to place this dirt here, but these stupid cows aren't letting me. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day. Uh, it took way too long for those cows to grow up, and I've just been puttering around the base waiting for them to finish and get all this breeding done. Uh, I filled in this stairwell all the way to the top, dug all of this space out back here, and laid down some more dirt, got some more grass going. And if we come up here, you see I actually connected this room with this room. We don't have that stairwell here anymore, uh, which is pretty nice. And then, again, just got rid of the stairwell because it's ugly and I didn't like it. And it needed to go away. And I've been getting mob spawns up here, and I'm trying to figure out where they're coming from. I'm the only one on the server right now, so they should be spawning pretty reticently. Reticently, is that a right word? I don't know. Uh, I'm betting it has something to do with over in here. Did a little bit of terraforming over here to tr try and uh, see if we could get something wonderful going on. Hey, it's Maruski. Hey, um. Bedding, it has to do with. Oh, she slept. Dang it. I was trying to see where all the dark spots were. No sleeping. Nah, it's not her fault. She didn't know. I didn't tell her. My fault. But, anyways, let's go uh, handle these cows, shall we? Oh, hungry. Maybe we can get off this fish diet. So. Since I got rid of the wall, I had to move the ladder over here. And again, we just come up here and do breeding, 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 breeding. And the little babas fall down there. And actually, let's do a little bit of breeding, shall we? I can hit the button. The cows do the poppity pop pop. We come around. It's super loud, sorry. It's so loud. Oh, it's so loud. We just swing around like so, making with the breeding. And then when we turn off the water, all the bad ass fall down there. Into the hole. I <laughs> figure you are videotaping things and things. I am. Uh, say hi to the video. To the viewers. And you pop down here and I put the little glass in so you can see the little babies. But the adults are up there too. And we should be able to burn our the adults. Turn that on, turn that off. The adults all get cookerated. The babies are left. Oh, and look at all the deliciousness just flowing in. Now this is probably from entity cramming, which is why this is not cooked. Most of it's going to wind up cooked. And we just do a little cookery like so. I think I do want to put some glass right here, like right under there, so I can just kind of look right here without having to come down here and do this number. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty darn cool setup. And we get the munches, we get to eat steak of the cooked variety. And, of course, we get leather. So we may be, may be opening up a leather and steak shop. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see, this is not an industrial farm by any means. It's pretty much just a, a little quick personal one, but it does get the job done. Good. No baddies. But I do think that is going to do it for this episode. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as we make steak. Until next time, you guys get out there, make some noise. See ya.